Water and winds converge, forming an immense tropical rainbow. Marching across the continent, vast quantities of water are on the move. It's an event known simply as the wet. In the southern African country of Zambia, the same amount of rain falls in January and February as the entire rest of the year. Those are happiest in the wet season. February is mid carving time. Big responsibility for this first time, Mum. Only a few weeks old, the calf is entirely dependent on Mum to tell him what's what in this water world. They look dangerous. Mum barely reacts. An adult hippo like her is too big and strong to be considered a crocodile meal. And in the wet season, there's plenty of room in the pool for everyone to keep a safe distance. Those unblinking eyes are disconcerting. Mum decides a breather ashore is not a bad idea. The calf stays close to Mum. The bond between them is intense and can last for six years or more. He depends on her for protection. Danger lies everywhere. Lions on this river are specialist hippo killers. It's hard for the inexperienced mum to judge where her calf is safest. She makes the choice most hippos make. She mistakes her own personal safety as safe. The bystanders have a sense of what's unfolding, but the calf is too naive. time the mother realizes her terrible error of judgment, it's too late.
experience a heartbreaking outcome for the mother. But with only half of all baby hippos surviving their first year, her loss is a reality she may experience many more times.